Hello, my name is Jarmo Viteli. I come from the University of Tampere, Finland. And I give you the short story about the games and learning. Games and learning are really interrelated. When you think about your childhood, for example, how did you learn? You learned through the play, you played alone, you played with your friends and with the other kids. And in that way you learned many skills, not only the rules of the game, but also the social skills. You learn to win, you learn to lose, and you learn also to do many kind of things. Suddenly, when you go to school, you are not playing anymore in the school time. We think that you learn better when you are sitting in the still in a quiet way, listening to the teacher, and then learning by yourself or doing things by yourself. That has been a mode of the learning in, in hundreds of years, and unfortunately, it's still probably the most existing way how the learning is delivered in the different schools. Now the challenge for all of us is really to how we integrate those two things, the games and the learning. And there are a lot of new opportunities to do that. Especially we can use the all old games, what we have done when we have been a child. But especially nowadays when we have digital games and these digital environments where we can incorporate the games at the same time of the learning. We all know that there are thousands of games. There are some of the good games, some of them are not. But the challenge is really that how you can find the game which fits to the curriculum and the targets and objectives of education and the discipline of what you are studying. Institute of Play in the US has created a project called GLASS. And the fundamental idea of that project is really that you take one of the most popular games in the world, like SimCity for example, and then you go it through and you modify that game so that you also add different learning elements. So that when the end users, the kids are using that, they are not only the things what they normally learned in that SimCity game, but they also learn many other things which relates to the mathematics, for example, or cooperation and collaboration, or argumentation. And that's one excellent way to develop that kind of new ideas and new concept of the games and learning. And when we are using the games in education, I think it's a, it's a huge opportunity, but on the same time, we have to be very careful about that, that we are not relying on the games and learning too much. It's a challenge in this current stage and in the future years that our young generation is spending too much time in a digital environment and not enough time that kind of face-to-face -face contact and collaborating and meeting people. So I think that's the big responsibility. But knowing that, we shouldn't avoid to develop the new ideas and experiments and products where we integrate digital games with the learning purposes. I thank you.